Carl Ravitch here on the Rich Eisen Show. You mentioned how some of the uh, participants are talking about when I was a kid watching it growing up. Let's hit the Wayback Machine because I know you were there. It's been 20 years. I mentioned this earlier on the show. 20 years now since the famed McGuire Sosa uh, Field of Dreams. Pedro right. Martinez, five strikeouts in the first two innings. Uh, right. All-Star Game Home Run Derby uh, in Fenway Park. 20 years. And I know I interviewed McGuire and Sosa for baseball tonight. I do believe I took it from you and threw it back to you. You were you were at yep. Fenway Park. Um, yep. let, me, let me see if I can totally hit the Wayback Machine. You were in right field, right? Did they put you on top? Uh, of the bleachers in right field in Fenway Park that day? I was, well, what I remember about 99 is interviewing Pedro Martinez. I think radio kind of tapped on me, and I I interviewed Pedro Martinez when he came out of the game, and he had such a huge bag of ice on his shoulder after striking out five of those six Hall of Fame guys. And and that was, in a lot of ways, that was the end of, of Pedro, that chapter. Uh, he was he was great after that, but never the same. Never was able to um, kind of recreate the '99 with the changeup and the curveball. But yeah, as much as the McGuire Sosa show was there and Griffey was there, it was it was what happened in that game and the Ted Williams and Tony Gwynn mm-hmm. and do you smell you know do you smell your bat after you get a foul ball? Uh, that that was as memorable a night as I've experienced in baseball and have done baseball since 95 at ESPN. You're, you're right. I don't remember during the Derby w- where I was. My sense is baseball tonight was – you were there. in right field. You were above that. You're, you're right. You were there. We were. You were there. And I remember I was interviewing both those guys, uh, McGuire and Sosa, before, you know, before the Derby. And it was the year after that 98 season that was so magical that so many right. people peg as the savior of baseball, right. you know, from from the from the, the strike a few years before that. You know, Ripken kind of helped put things back together when he when he went around that. You know, the, making the lap around Camden Yards, uh, breaking Gehrig's record in ninety in ninety six. You know, in ninety five. But um, you know that ninety eight ninety nine part. You know, I, I know that there's asterisks with it now. I, I have nothing but the warm and fuzzy memories of that night. That was maybe the most special thing I did at ESPN in the seven <laughs> years I was there, Carl. Yeah, my, I mean, my folks were there because I grew up in that area, so my folks were there to witness it. Uh, the, the video of the fans, and this was well before there were seats on the left field wall. There were there was a screen there, and they would hit right. it over the screen, and the fans would, would chase the baseballs down. Um, and, and, and this is hardly uh, a reflection of me, but you're absolutely right, and a lot of people have suggested that uh, the home run race, uh, baseball tonight, because that was before all of the uh, all of the RSNs were around. Yep. Uh, Cal Ripken. Th- there were certain factors that helped resuscitate the game. The program was must see TV, like Sports Center was, because you wanted to see, and there was no other way to find out uh, if McGuire or Sosa homered that night. It, be- it became. Uh, something you could update immediately. You could go to the at bat live, and you're absolutely right that that was that was a turning point for a game that was really struggling. And to this day, I'm sure you hear it. Um, people will tell you I, I gave up on it. Uh, I stopped watching it. I didn't go anymore. And I think to your point, to bring it full circle, an event like tonight with the enthusiasm of a Ronald Acuna from Atlanta, which we've seen all summer long, with Pete Alonso who Todd Frazier nicknamed the polar bear, who, who is as, as simple-minded on a baseball field as he is smart off it, but said, what do you anticipate doing? He said, hitting more home runs than anyone else. Like, sometimes the most simple things make the most sense, that these guys will be able to continue to sort of burn the ember of, of young fan and, and re- recreate that energy. And it happens one night. And look, we all know how dependent we are on the weather. It's a beautiful day and night in Cleveland That's for great. a home run derby. Fantastic. Which is a big help. That's great. That's great, Ravi. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.